So Manchester United have now signed Christian Eriksen and it's been announced and as we speak Martinez is in Manchester for his medical and then he will be announced as a new Man United signing. Don't even get me started on Frankie De Jong, that probably will get until the end of August. So today's video is going to be focusing on Eriksen and Martinez and how Ten Hag will use them next season. I've got a couple of squads and a couple of potential ways that Ten Hag could use them, looking at five or six ways that Ten Hag might use them next season, but the way I believe he'll use them. So on your screen is the first way I think Ten Hag will use Ericsson and Martinez. I think it's the original plan for Ericsson and Martinez. And that is Martinez to play left-sided centre-back. I know Martinez can play DM. I know we'll probably be starting to see them on McFred, which is not what we want to see. Uh, but I do believe Martinez has been brought to play centre-back and be a left centre-back because we do not have a left centre-back and balance is so important for how Ten Hag plays. And Ten Hag likes his back four to be balanced. Left foot, left back, left foot, centre back, right foot, right centre back, right foot, right back. He likes a left foot midfielder and a right foot midfielder. And then he likes his wingers to be inverted. He likes it like that so we can overload crosses from those sides. So obviously not having a left side centre back means I think Martinez will generally be a regular centre back. The fact that we've paid quite a bit of money for him, pushed very hard for him. And he's clearly the player that Eric Ten Hag wants. So I believe Martinez will be that left side of centre back for United and he will add that much needed balance. I think that he will probably play with Varane or Maguire or Lindelof. I think Varane would be first choice, but with fitness issues, I think it could be Maguire um, because he's captain. So in the midfield, I think it would be Bruno, De Jong and Fred, let's say. Uh, I can't. I think maybe we'll see Martinez in the midfield from time to time, but I still think he could be a left sided centre back. I think Eriksen will be competing for that Bruno role, if I'm being 100% honest with you. And I think there'll be games where Eriksen plays and games where Bruno plays. However, I don't think it will just be that Eriksen is back up to Bruno. Eriksen can play on the right. Er, you know, if, if, we, if we lose Ronaldo and we don't sign a striker, we might, we might have to play Bruno at false nine and Eriksen in the 10 role. Maybe if we are um, struggling against the side and we need to break them down, we could have Bruno. And Ericsson both is eight with a, a DM behind, even though we don't really have a DM, but you know what I mean. So I generally think this is how Ten Hag's going to line up. I think Ericsson will be used. I think Ten Hag expressed how much he wanted Ericsson, how important it would be to control against midfield. I think Ericsson will be a regular. I can see actually Ericsson as a 10 and Bruno on the wing, and Bruno as a 10 and Ericsson on the wing. I can see them interchanging in those positions. As you can see, the second way we could line up is obviously the same lineup with Ericsson and, Bru and Bruno as a false nine. Um, this is a way I do think we could see United line up, uh, but I do think we could see one of them shipped off to the wing, as you can see here on my screen. Marshall up top, Sancho on the left, Bruno in the middle and Eriksson on the right hand side there. I think, you know, and they can interchange positions and stuff. I think obviously we've got loads of good wingers, but I don't think we're going to get Anthony. I know a lot of people want Anthony, but I, I just think we're being way overpriced for him as well. Um, People did say could we line up with Martinez, Eriksson and maybe De Jong as midfield three and potentially where will Donny fit in the mix? A lot of people saying, well, Donny, Bruno and Eriksson all for the same role. Like, was Eriksson needed? I think Donny needs to play deeper. I'm disappointed we haven't seen Donny play deeper in pre-season tour because I think right now Eriksson and Bruno brilliant for the 10 role. It's that deeper role. Uh, and I think we need Donny to play deeper. We've got Fred, we've got hopefully De Jong, uh, Sedanic all doing very, very well as well a lineup we could also see is Sancho on the right Bruno on the left Ericsson as the 10 and Martial up top we have seen Bruno play off the wing occasionally for United and been decent we know that Tenor might line up at a 4-2-3-1 but in game he could play them as two cams and obviously Martinez uh, as the left side is set at bat now there are rumours that Martinez could play in the midfield for Manchester United and it could be a Martinez De Jong Ericsson midfield or Martinez De Jong Bruno midfield or Martinez Fred Bruno midfield we we'll have to wait and see. I do think there'll be times when Martinez is potentially used in the field with injuries. And I don't think Ten Hag's plan is McFred. I think the fact that we are so desperate for De Jong and still pursuing him despite this saga going on for so long. I, I think it's very unlikely that we will see McFred. But I think we will have to start a season with McFred with De Jong going on tour. I am going to say, guys, I will be live tonight later with some more news and transfer news updates Um as well, so make sure you subscribe for that. De Jong is going on tour. I still believe the deal will happen, but I think it's going to be a slow process. And hopefully in the meantime, we can make a move for a right back, a DM, a right winger, a striker. Who else? Another way Manchester United could line up is actually changing formation, changing to the diamond formation. That did actually work really well for one or two games under Raleigh. And then he went back to the crap that he played. But with Martial and Rashford as split strikers or Sancho or whoever, or Ronaldo if he says the split strikers, Ericsson, Bruno, De Jong and maybe Martinez as a midfield four, as you can see on my screen. Or it could even be something like Bruno as the 10, 
Ericsson and Young in a deeper role and Fred as that DM. It could even be Donny, De Young, Fred and Bruno and maybe Ericsson as a striker. So many different ways we could line up. I generally believe we'll see a 4-2-3 role with Ericsson probably being back up to Bruno and being rotated with Bruno and Martinez as left side of centre back. But with Martinez being able to play left back, centre back, DM, you can do what you want with Martinez. With Ericsson being able to play centre mid, cam, centre forward and on the wings, you, could, you know, they're both versatile players. Uh, and we could line up with both of them. I do think Martinez will be used regularly. I don't know how regularly Ericsson will be used, but I expect him to be playing quite often. That's going to wrap up today's short video on how Tenag will probably use Ericsson and Martinez in the multiple ways he could use him, but I think he will use Martinez, as I said, as a left-sided centre-back and Ericsson as a player to push Bruno, but I do think Ericsson will be played. I don't think he will just be like a matter in a Bruno backup. I think we will use Ericsson. I will be live later, so make sure you're subscribed. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye.